Theresa May has urged the Parliamentary Standards Authority to review its policies towards expectant mothers after the Labour MP Stella Creasy said she felt Parliament was effectively telling her to choose between being a mum and being an MP. The Walthamstow MP, who is pregnant, also received support from Jeremy Hunt and Sajid Javid, two of the contenders to succeed May, who both also urged action over the issue. Creasy said that the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, IPSA, has told expectant mothers it does not recognize any form of maternity leave and will not automatically provide extra support for constituency work after she gives birth. Now pregnant again, she said she had been told that MPs would not be provided with any additional funding for support staff by IPSA to allow her to get extra help with constituency work. As about Creasy's article, May's spokesman said, no one should have to choose between being a mum and being an MP. While Parliament has made positive changes to becoming more family, Friendly in recent years, such as introducing proxy voting and changing sitting hours, Stella Creasy's comments highlight that there is much more to do. It is ultimately up to IPSA to make decisions on pay and allowances for MPs, but the Prime Minister would urge them to look very closely at the issues that have been raised by Stella Creasy and determine what more support, such as temporary staffing, can be provided. Hunt and Javid also urged action in tweets. Hunt, the foreign secretary, said it was impossible to argue with Creasy's views, adding, insidious to force MPs to choose between serving their constituents and spending precious time with their newborn. Come on Ipsa, do the right thing. Javid, the home secretary, tweeted Creasy to congratulate her on the pregnancy, saying, I completely agree that that we must strive to ensure Parliament is an inclusive workplace. It shouldn't be more difficult to be a female MP than a male MP. Creasy said that during her first miscarriage, she had carried on constituency work, aching and bleeding, including joining a protest for the extradition of a man who had raped and murdered a constituent. After her second miscarriage she said she had to arrange the medical procedure around constituency advice surgeries. Heartbroken by all the years that I have struggled with fertility, I've kept these events to myself and made sure my constituents have never been affected, she writes. Now I'm pregnant. Once more and terrified, not just that it will go wrong again, but because I know that my resolve to keep my private and professional lives separate has become impossible. Creasy said she had approached DIPSA about funding for cover but was told it does not recognize that MPs go on maternity leave. Humiliatingly, it is making me beg for extra staff funding or give up any chance of spending time with my child to make sure my constituents don't miss out, she writes. If a GP or vicar were on leave, a locum would be provided to ensure continuity of services. In Denmark, a member of the national parliament would have a substitute MP appointed. Related, celebrity babies of 2019 photos. The unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt actress is expecting her second child with her husband. She revealed the news on an episode of Jimmy Kimmel Live, after the host teased her for missing the party he threw for the cast of Live in Front of Studio Audience, Norman Lear's All in the Family and the Jeffersons, I was unable to make it. I am so sorry. I'm gonna tell you why. It is because I'm pregnant and I felt sick. I've been blaming the pregnancy for so many things, and this is one of them, said Kemper. Kemper and Kanan are already parents to son James. The House of Cards actress welcomed her first child, a baby girl, with the Fantastic Four actor. On May 27, Kate shared a picture of her baby's feed along with the caption, We had a baby a couple weeks ago. Here are her feet. The couple has been married since July 2017. Kardashian and West welcomed their fourth child, a son, via surrogate, on May 9. The reality star shared the news the following day via Twitter and wrote, He's here and he's perfect. On May 17, Kardashian shared that they named the baby boy Psalm. The couple had welcomed their daughter Chicago West through surrogacy in January last year. They are also parents to daughter North and son Saint. 
the Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcomed a baby boy on May 6. It is the first child for Harry and Meghan, who married a year ago. Speaking after the birth, Harry said, as every father on parent will ever say, you know, your baby is absolutely amazing, but this little thing is absolutely to die for, so I'm just over the moon. The baby is seventh in line to the British throne. The comedian and her husband welcomed their first baby, a boy, on May 6. Schumer took to Instagram to announce the news, along with a picture with the newborn. She wrote, 10.55 p.m. last night, our royal baby was born. The black swan actor and his wife have welcomed a baby girl named Amazoni. On April 19, Castle took to Instagram to share the news with a picture of a rainforest waterfall, captioned, Amazoni S. Nehart, Amazoni is born. The couple were married in August 2018. Castle also has two daughters, Leone and Diva, from his previous marriage to actress Monica Bellucci. The Today Show anchor announced on April 16 that she has adopted a baby girl named Hope Catherine Cotby. She shared a picture of her with the new baby and her older daughter on her Instagram page. Hope is sleeping soundly, dot and I am reading all of your beautiful messages. I am overwhelmed with your kindness. Thank you for the love you have shown us. It means so much. She captioned the photo. She adopted her first daughter, Haley Joy, in 2017. The celebrity chef and his wife welcomed their fifth child, a son named Oscar, on April 4. Ramsey announced the news on social media with two photographs of himself and his wife with a newborn. After three BAFTAs and one Emmy, finally we have won an Oscar. Please welcome Oscar James Ramsey, who touched down at 12.58 today for some lunch. XXX, he captioned the post. The pair has been married since 1996 and are parents to four children, Megan, Matilda, Jack and Holly. The Fifty Shades of Grey actor and his wife welcomed their third child, a girl, Warner confirmed on Instagram on March 31, 2019. She shared a photo of three pairs of girls' shoes and wrote, so proud of these three glorious girls, it's an honor being their mummy, feeling incredibly lucky today, hashtag happy Mother's Day, the couple are parents to two daughters, Dulcie and Elva, the singer and her husband welcomed their third child, a daughter named Birdie Mae Johnson, on March 19. Simpson posted on Instagram, we are so happy and proud to announce the birth of our perfect daughter, Birdie Mae Johnson. They are already parents to daughter, Maxwell, Maxie, Drew, and son, Ace Newt. The Flirt Lines, singer and his model partner welcomed their second child, a baby girl, on February 26. Thick shared the news on Instagram with a picture of him with the baby, captioned. Lola Alon Thick was born this morning, February 26, 19, at 8.21 a.m. Thank you God and April love for this blessing. The two are parents to another daughter, born in February 2018. The Buffy the Vampire Slayer alum is expecting her first child with her husband. Dushku shared the news at the screening of the documentary, Maplet Thorpe, and said, So much to be happy and grateful for, we could not be more thrilled. The couple tied the knot in Boston, Massachusetts, U.S., in August 2018. The Pretty Woman actor and his wife welcomed their first child together, a baby boy, in New York City, New York, U.S., in February. Jir and Silva married in 2018, with reports of Silva being pregnant surfacing in August that year. Jir also has a son from his ex-wife Carrie Lowell. The country singer and his wife welcomed their second child, a daughter named Navy Rome, on February 4. Aldine took to Instagram to reveal the news. Today our family became complete as we welcomed our daughter Navy Rome to the world. Born on the 4th of February 19 weighing 7 pounds 12 ounces and looking identical to her older brother. So excited to watch what life has in store for this little princess. Princess medium light skin tone. The singer, who has two more daughters from his first marriage, had confirmed the pregnancy, on July 10, 2018, via another Instagram post, a photo of his son, 
Memphis whom the couple welcomed in December 2017, with the text, Sup, sick, everybody, guess who is gonna be a big brother? Hashtag this dude hasha Aldine party of six. The Victoria's Secret Angel and the Kings of Leon Singer welcomed their second child, a boy named Winston Roy Follow Will. Breaking the news on Instagram with a photo of the baby's feet, she announced that he was born on January 29th. The couple are already parents to a daughter named Dixie Pearl Follow Will. The country singer welcomed her second child, a boy named Jacob Brian Fisher, with husband Mike Fisher on January 21st. She announced the news on Instagram with cute photos of the newborn with different members of her family. She wrote, Jacob Brian Fisher entered the world in the wee hours of the morning on Monday. His mom, dad and big brother couldn't be happier for God. To trust them with taking care of this little miracle. Our hearts are full, our eyes are tired and our lives are forever changed. Life is good. The two are also parents to another son. Named Isaiah, the Spy Kids star and big-time Rush band member are expecting their second child together. The couple announced the news on their respective Instagram accounts on January 17. Holy moly, guys. We are having another baby. Do we wake Ocean up and tell him? Alexa captioned the photo. Beyond blessed and excited to continue growing this family, she added. B. Duo married in 2014 and are already parents to son Ocean King, whom they welcomed in December 2016. The Peaky Blinders co-stars have welcomed their second child, a son named Forrest, reported Daily Mail on January 11. The gender or name of their first child hasn't been revealed to date. Hardy is also father to another child, a son named Lewis, from a previous relationship. The Doctor Who actress welcomed a baby girl with her partner, reportedly on Christmas 2018. This is her first child with Lloyd, and she has two other children from her previous marriage. The Boy Meets World actress confirmed on Instagram that she is expecting a baby boy with husband Jensen Karp in July. I'm eating for two. I'm napping with wild abandon. Baby shoes. Baby clothes. I'm shopping. I'm nesting. I'm reading books, she wrote on Instagram. The couple had tied the knot in November 2018. The country music star and his wife were expecting their fifth child together. Stapleton announced the news during a concert on November 2, 2018. He stated, I've got an announcement to make. Some of you may know that that we have four children. We just had twins about seven months ago. Now there's four for us, but we're gonna make it five. The couple, who wed in 2007, welcomed twin boys in April 2018 and are also parents to a boy and a girl. Cumberbatch and his wife are expecting his third child, EE News reported on September 17, 2018. The theater and opera director debuted a tiny bump at the Emmy Awards. They are already parents to two sons, Christopher and Hal. The Pretty Woman, 1990, actor is expecting his first child with wife Silva, reported Spanish newspaper ABC in August 2018. The couple wed in a civil ceremony in April 2018. They each have one child from a previous relationship. The UFC star is expecting his second child with partner Devlin. The mom to be shared the news on her Instagram feed on July 14, 2018, which was also McGregor's birthday. She posted a photo of him with the caption, Happy 30th birthday, babe. Thank you for being you. Love you to bits from me, Connor Jr. and the bump heart, dating for nearly a decade now. The couple has a son, Connor Jack McGregor Jr., Creasy said she had been heartened by the introduction of proxy voting, introduced this year after the Labour MP Tulip Sadiq, who was heavily pregnant, was forced to delay her caserine section and vote in a wheelchair, but that far more had to change. Sadiq, the MP for Hampstead and Kilburn, told The Guardian she had been refused extra help with her first pregnancy, the year after she arrived in Parliament in 2015. Having given birth to her second child four months ago, she said she had not even bothered to make the application. 
That is because of the negative reaction I had first time around. They were utterly baffled I was even having a baby. I was passed around and I was told we have not got a historic policy on that because we have not had many women in parliament who give birth, she said.